Hello guys and welcome to our 8th tutorial of installing, compiling and installing GTK4 until now we saw how we can set our environment Mason, Glib, Cairo, G-Object, Introspection, Pango and of course we saw in the last video the GTK PixBuff how um, it is uh, how we, we can install it now before we proceed let us check it first package um, package minus config um, minus Lips, lips, and then um, GDK uh, minus uh, pigs buff um, minus 2.0. And as you can see, it is found uh, from our system, but it is not what we need. So let me ca call the C flags, and you will see C flags right here and as you can see it says only in the USR uh, it is found and it is not what we need and this happens because we didn't set our environment like we should do all the time so let me call the source set environment first and now if we call again on um, you see now it is pointing to the right one which we needed and of course if we call the C flag as well, we get all this nice information which we need, it, which means everything looks good. I'm not going to close the terminal because if I'm doing that, I'm going to um, call that, uh, and I'm going to need to set environment again, and a lot of things uh, or nasty thing can uh, go or happen. Anyway, uh, before we proceed, we need to check if we have the pigments. If not, we need it also. So with the uh, PIP3 installed, we're going to check it. Okay, we have it, which is good. Now we need these four dependencies, so libraries as well, which takes a little bit time, and I'm going to hit pause until it's done. Now that uh, those dependencies, uh, they got uh, installed, we can proceed with building, compiling, uh, or building uh, our uh, GTK doc, which is very, very important for our progress of installing GTK 4 on Linux Mint 20.1. Now, before we proceed again, I'm going to check. I'm going to check if indeed GTK doc uh, version 1.33.2, it is the last one. If it's not, I'm going to update it with the actual information. 1.33, 1.33, yes, 1.32, okay, and we have 1.3, yes, which is fine. Okay, so basically we do have the last available version. Let us get it with the help of wget. Now the next thing we are going to extract it. After that, we are going to move in that folder. And now, with the help of Mason, we are starting to building it. It went quite fast, as you can see, which is uh, good. And now, with the help of Ninja, we are going to proceed with the build, which also went very fast. And the last thing, will install. It takes a couple seconds until it gets done because it needs to set it now i'm going to close this uh, terminal and i'm going to go to my user folder the user usr sorry my whole folder uh, include and here we have uh, now because we 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 don't have uh, include we have only libraries and let me see uh, gtk uh, package config and uh, where are you? Mm -hmm. Strange. Let me see. Let me see. For a second. Uh, hmm. That's quite strange. Cairo, script Cairo, Geo, Geo, GTK speak off. Glib Script 
see make we have it package config and It is indeed not here. Why is that? Hmm. GDK, yes, we have those tests. Share, yeah, of course. Man, sorry guys, my bad. Because it's a documentation, it should always be in the user share. That's That was my mistake, sorry guys. So, as you can see, we have all the data right here from the documentation together with the GTK doc, um, uh, Python scripts. Sorry guys, I, I, I was thinking in another place, GTK doc, it's just, it's, it's just a documentation which is found in our uh, USR share. Okay, that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you like it, please subscribe, share with your friends and neighbors, and until next time, see you guys.